Bill. And this is a bit. Let's roll that. Drinkers and sports fans, I am Preston Churchill, and, I'm and this is a beer with the brawler. Oi. Mm. All right, so tonight I am drinking the three six hoppier from Evil Check Brewery, just down the road a bit here in Mishawaka, Indiana. And me mate Brawler Junior is drinking the Fago root beer with the. Is that an edible straw? Yeah, it's an edible straw. It's an edible straw. All right, he's thinking eco conscience. He's thinking recycle, reduce, and reuse, the three R's. He said that backwards. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're, you're thinking about it, so it's a plus. The job, reduce, mate. reuse, recycle. Right, it's a cycle, so it doesn't matter what where you say it, because it's always right. No. Anyways, uh, in in fact, uh, speaking of always right, Supreme Pro Wrestling had a great show on uh, Saturday, May 13th, out at the Maple City Conference and Event Center in Goshen, Indiana. We celebrated... Brawler Jr.'s birthday is born on the 14th. We celebrated on the 5th, 13th. Almost said that backwards. And it was a great show. We had um, great wrestling by Supreme Pro Wrestling. We had the Foley's, the punk rock band, the Foley's. They're great. You should definitely check them out. And it was a great time. Uh, the crowd was hot from start to finish. They went home happy. Uh, the wrestlers went home uninjured. That's always a plus. And uh, everyone got paid and everyone was happy. I mean, you know, it was a great show. And we're looking forward to doing it again, July 22nd, at the Goshen Soccer Academy. Now, um, uh, yeah, it was a great show. So, Brawler Jr., it's the end of school, and now you're on uh, summer break. You having a good time so far? Yeah. Yeah? Um, uh, it, 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 t tell you what, why don't we talk about bullying tonight? I know you had a little trouble with uh, bullying this year, and we don't have to go into detail. <clears throat> but, you know, um, I was bullied too in school, and so was your mum. And bullying is bad, and um, it happens still today, and it's a sad, sad thing, because uh, bullying, you know, we're, we're mature enough uh, as, as, as people, uh, we're mature enough as a species, the human species, there shouldn't be any bullying, but it's still going on today, and in fact, uh, you know, your dad, brawler, is being bullied on the internet a lot, a lot on Facebook, um, wrestlers and other workers uh, saying some weird things, some mean things about me, some very untrue things, and um, it's uh, it's really bad. And I got to tell you, it's it's really sad, really, because uh, none of this is true about me, but a lot of it is true about them. You see, the thing about bullies is they will project on you the things that they're doing because they're jealous of you or they're afraid of you. And um, it's, 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 it's really sad. Um, you know, they're calling me a racist. They're calling me a sexist, a homophobe, a transphobe, a panphobe, an omniphobe, a multiphobe. Um, it, it, it's bollocks, all of it. None of it's true. And it, it, it's really sad. Because these are people that I've wrestled for or I've worked with, that I've helped, that I've put food in their mouths, money in their pockets, I encouraged them when they didn't think they were good enough to do the job. You know, it's really sad that your dad is being bullied like this. And I just want to say that I'll forgive you and I wish you well. But we're going to do our own thing in Goshen, Indiana. And you can keep doing your thing in South Bend because we want nothing to do with that. But we're, we're going to move on, mate. And you should too. Because you had your chance to say thank you. You had your chance... To do better when I knew you could do better. And and rather than doing that, you're focusing on projecting your guilt. You're projecting your, 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 your incompetence. You're projecting your fear, your anxiety upon me. Now, mate. Now, there are those who are saying I'm an untrained and I'm a corny. But this one here. Focus on that. There you go. Focus. Focus. That is my certificate that I completed my training. How many of you have a certificate that you completed your training? That's all I'm saying. I, I got this. This has been in my wallet, as you can see. Pretty beat up for 20 years. 
Now, you want to go further. Dan Seven, the day I met him, he had already knew who I was, he had seen my work, and he already wanted me to train guards for him at his school in Michigan. Now, if I was an untrained Connie, Dan Seven would have snubbed his nose at me. But instead, because he knew me, he invited me to his place, he asked me to show him a few things, and he invited me to train guys for him at his school in Michigan, which I did. I accepted that. He paid me to do so until COVID shut everything down. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if Dan Seven looked at me, watched me, and said, yes, I want you to train guys, then obviously, I know what I'm doing. Now, I might not do it the same way everyone else does, and even Dan said that, and at verse 2 that, there were some things that he had never thought about teaching, like the butt bump, some of the things that I taught, Dory, Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho, because that's the way I was trained. Now, people do things different, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. So, your bullying can stop because it's wrong. It's uncalled for, you're jealous, you're afraid, whatever. I'll forgive you, move on. Now, moving on from that, we're going to enjoy our root beers, or our regular beers. Adam, did you say giveaway? I swear. Yes, yes I said giveaway. I swear giveaway, he said wait. Giveaway, I swear giveaway. he said giveaway. I did. Mm-hmm. And if you don't think about it, you're bollocks. You're bollocks. Anyways, so, I we'll think... For July 22nd, Supreme Pro Wrestling presents Feel the Fury at the Goshen Soccer Academy in Goshen, Indiana. We're going to give away not only two tickets to the show, but I'm also feeling a t-shirt. A t-shirt? You said a t-shirt. He said a t-shirt. Yeah, totally so, said a t-shirt. two tickets and a t-shirt, <laughs> Supreme Pro Wrestling. And? 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 There's and, an and? Yes, and? 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 Supreme Pro Wrestling hat. A hat? Do we have any of those left? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Right. All right. So you're getting two tickets to the show, a t-shirt and a hat. Now, apparently we have some left. Well, he is the merchandise manager. So all you got to do is like, subscribe, and leave a positive comment. And Brawler Jr. will pick one winner a week from today. Make what? Make the subscribe button red. Yeah, make it red. And you could be the winner. So, from Lennon Castle, right here in Mishawaka, Indiana, I am Preston Churchill. And I'm Brawler Jr. Very anti-bullying. And this has been a beer with Brawler. Oi! Oi!